So welcome back to the channel. You join me again and today it's a nice sunny day. As you can see outside there, it's a lovely day. So what we're working on is a 2015 Peugeot Partner van. Customer complaint with this one is the offside front headlamp, the little capless 5 watt bulb is not working. So we're going to get cracking on with diagnosing this. We already kind of know what it is. So the story is it went to Halfords, it got a new bulb, still didn't work. Fair enough. Um, and that's why we're here today. So let's diagnose this one nice and quick. This might only be a five minute, five, six minute video. But just showing you the common issues that we find on these vans. Obviously, I've still got one of these vans as well. So I know them quite well. Um, but yeah, let's crack on me diagnosing this one. If you've got the same issue, this video might help you. So let's just confirm that we've definitely not got. You can see the side lights are on there. So let's see. Oh no, we need to start the van up. For the side lights to work. So if we start the van up, you can see there that the near side lamp works but the off side doesn't so can definitely confirm that switch that off um, and as you can see I've already come over to here now your output for your lights comes from this underhood fuse box or the BSM which everybody knows is quite common for failing on these particular vans um, so I'm going to show you a quick test you can do just to confirm that the wiring's all right and that the actual BSM is the culprit. So I've already got this set up on how to actually test it. So on this mid middle plug here, we have got a grey wire, which is your uh, right hand side side light bulb, five watt capless. And we've got the purple wire, which is the near side front. So I'm just probed into there uh, using my, I can't remember what brand these are, but they were quite expensive, they're good ones. Uh, but I've lost the black one, so. And we're connected to a good body earth, so when we turn the side lights on, that should light up that test lamp, so let's try that out. What I need is the keys. So I will need to start the van up, so there will be a bit of noise here. So that is the side lights on at the minute, and you can see we've got no output coming out of the BSM. Now if I go onto the opposite wire, which is the near side headlamp, hopefully I've got a decent connection in there. No I haven't. So let me try that again. So you can see that we have got an output coming from the BSM on this side, but nothing on the opposite side. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've just removed the 5 volt bulb for the holder, just so you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to take my, my little probe, jag it in there. It's typical. Somebody's walking by with a trolley, I'm going to pause this in Right, so now, there away, what I'm going to do is just show you the setup here. So I've got my test lamp running through, uh, we're connected to the offside front output wire for the 5 watt capless bulb side light. We're going to connect our test lamp and then this is going to run through to battery positive. And obviously, the bulb isn't going to light up too bright. But you can see, maybe if I put it in a wee bit of a darker area, you can see that our bulb is lighting up. So even though we're no properly load testing it, obviously the current will be reduced because it's running through the test lamp. So we're not properly load testing it there, but we can confirm that there is some form of continuity from the BSM going to the 5 watt capless. Uh, what we could do is just run a wire from battery positive going into the, the probe there and that bulb will light up nice and bright 
So I've just connected it up straight to the actual test lead there, so we're not running it through the test lamp. And I'm just going to show you that you can see they are on, off, on, off. So we can confirm that we've got a fault with BSM. Now I kind of already knew that, mostly because I know these vans quite well electrically um, and the BSMs are really common. So I have got a BSM with me. We're going to get it swapped out, so let me do that quickly. I'm not going to show that. We'll get it swapped out and everything will work then. I turn those side lights off there. So side light on. You can see our uh, near side works. And now, so there's our uh, off side. So that's a fix, just a faulty BSM, fairly common, if you've got one of these vans you probably know about the issue But uh, you can get loads of different faults with these, wiper faults, headlight faults, things going on and off for sales uh, a, lot of think, a lot of people think it's the body computer in, internal to the actual passenger side But it's not, it's just a BSM So you can see a side light is working there, I don't know if you'll be able to see from here because of the glare but a side light's working uh, and jobs are fixed. As you can see there, it's working absolutely fine. So we just need to put the cover back in that fuse box and this job's now complete. So there's a few work guys doing work out there now, uh, which is obviously contributing to the noise through the mic. But the BSMs, like I said, are fairly common on these. I've covered this sort of fault on my channel before. This is just a wee shorter video, hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, we've got quite a lot of tools coming our way, uh, we've got a few, we've got a Think Car, uh, I'm not too sure, it's a Bluetooth version but that's heading our way as well. Uh, we've got a couple of things, we've got the Ansel smoke machine, we've got the oscilloscope multimeter which is also coming our way so we'll show you how those tools operate on the channel soon but if you can remember click that like share and subscribe button and I will catch you on the next one guys, see you later.